Hey y'all, what's up? So, this is That Funny Comedy Showcase, and this is your host, Sync 5, 10, 10, 4. Oh, yeah. You, can y'all see? Am I blind, y'all, with my silk, uh, you know, colorful shirt? Because it is colorful, baby. And no, I'm not from the West Indies, but that's not a diss. They wear colors. It's beautiful, man. You know, I'm not blind. You know, I hang out with people of all race, shape, creed, color. And, um, you know, the different things that they do, especially with the clothing, when they wear a lot of clothing, you know, the eyes go bad after a while. Let me not say that. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm pushing, I don't be speaking that crazy stuff on myself. My eyes is good. I see. I see all y'all out there. Y'all better be watching this or y'all gonna be in trouble. So, what's today's topic? Well, today's topic is about comedy. And, you know, I was thinking about the Jay Leno and the um, Letterman thing. And, you know, it dawned on me that, you know, Letterman was number one for a while when Jay Leno left. And you know what? People are probably saying, oh, man, Leno came back and he took the number one spot. No, no, no. Because um, if you're playing a curmudgeon and you're a you know, it doesn't be good for you to be number one. So Dave Letterman probably was ticked off. Get back here, Jay. Because guess what? It works better his comedy if he's number two because he's probably standing around like what the hell am I gonna do on top you know like okay when I'm number two I can say yeah poor me you know that little thing that people do you know comedians we got our, our niches or niches or whatever you want to call it it's just no niche and you know we do our thing you know and so I, I just think that it's a great thing, you know, that the, the comedy wars and late night are back, you know, in sync. You know, Conan is not jumping around on the couches anymore. He's not doing the time cruise. You know, he used to whack up the hair. And I watched him too, you know, that funny dude, you know. I loved when he, you know, all that crazy stuff. You know, he's slapstick and everything, but... The old guys need the late night stuff, you know. They need to be sitting on couches, you know. The the young guys need to be jumping on the couches. So let Conan go to TBS and let him, you know, write like he used to write on SNL. Who knew? The man was a genius, you know. So when we said bye to Conan, we weren't saying, hey, you, we don't like you, you freckle face. No, no, no. We said we love the freckles and we want you to go do something that you do best. He writes. Conzy, Conan, Conan, the comedian, is a great writer. So you do you. Guess what? You know, when um, I, I one day I'll have a, a late night war, you know, with someone. You know, as a matter of fact, I am having a war. Uh, on yesterday, you know, I saw something in the daily news that made me go, what is this? I saw a photo of a sculpture that I had taken, but it wasn't my photo. What the hell? How is that? Well, I had a theme about the love sculpture, and it was stolen, yanked, taken. It was news napped. It was photo napped by the Daily News. And they even had the nerve to speak about money with love. And after I put it on, that's funny comedy showcase. I am the originator. So guess what? Even the daily news, the top news people are coming in after our stuff. So y'all better get up in that's funny and be funny along with me. Cause daily news now they're trying to be comedians. <laughs> somebody done shot somebody. Woohoo! <laughs> Listen, the photo was in this is your borough section, your borough. And they had the love sculpture. And they're talking about, hey, get off that thing. And they're, you know, and I'm saying, hey, how did the Daily News get a comedic voice now? Don't you even try it. That's my area. Ooh, ooh. You know, so my thing is, I had to let the world know, Daily News, you cannot take my idea. But you know what? Put your dukes up because I'm coming for you. Because guess what? Now in print, we're going to be duking it out. You know, 
I don't like the fact that they, you know, photo nap, news nap me. But what I do like is the fact that, you know, in some of the things they do, they're not necessarily too bad. But I can't vouch for them. I ain't vouching for nobody. Because then they wind up, you know, doing things that you didn't know. And they have a secret undercover life. No, no, no. So I can't vouch for them. But, you know, it's, it's very impressive to be robbed from by a top news. Well, I can't say impressive, but, like, what the hell do you say? Um, what is it? Um, the sincerest form of flattery is when someone mimics you. But damn it, you didn't mimic. You stole it from me and you didn't say that it was mine. That's not mimicry. That's robbery. That means you go to jail. No, you don't go to jail. I mean, plagiarism. I, I have never really heard of somebody going to jail for plagiarism per se. You know, I don't think I really researched that. But um, they better watch it because, you know. We got a lot of stuff going on, and that's funny. And you know what? I want to welcome them to come on in, you know, and do it legally, like, you know, fairly. Why don't you make a page called the Daily News and get your funny off on your page? But don't you steal my funny. But guess what? The videos that's on there, Daily News, you can take them in the embedding code and embed it somewhere. And then say, hey. But the photos, you know, you know, you bet. Don't try to steal my, my idea, because I was photo jacked, news jacked. I don't have a car, so damn it, you know, they said, hey, she got a site, site jacker. You know, and my thing is, I was site jacked by the Daily News, but guess what? I got a news, <laughs> a news site, I got another news site, one is you report, and one is we watch what people report, and then I got a whole bunch of sites. I got sites that women and men, they go at it, and all kinds of things, you know, they compete. You know, so I got some things going on. And, you know, people are looking in, but but guess what? You better look in. Don't you come in there and pull nothing out and then try to say it's yours. But you can pull stuff out. I'll let you embed it. But if I find you in bed with my site acting like it's yours, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's funny. If I find you in bed with my site, <laughs> which means if I find you acting like that site, is the stuff on that site is yours, no. You know, it has an owner. You know, this is a photo. This is copyrighted. So, your work is a derivative. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's derivative. Now, you better watch your step. Because, guess what? The ink on your paper can run and never, never dry. If you keep messing with me, you know, what am I going to do? My thing is, hey, I can do something. I'm going to let the world know. Don't you mess with me when it comes to business. Because I do, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But then, when I see you messing with my business, oh, mama's going to get hers. You know, she not going to let you come in and touch, you know, things belonging to my site. HTTP colon backslash backslash that's funny comedy showcase dot name dot com. Y'all come over there. You have a great time because apparently the Daily News is having a great time. So they try to do a comedy column in the Your Borough. Now, baby, all you had to do was put, this was, you know, done in That's Funny Comedy Showcase and, and make a reference or ask can you use my photo to get permission. But don't steal my idea and then make love funny. That was my idea to make it funny. You know, people used to say, oh, love, spring, love, love, da, da, da. But I made the decision to put it up on a comedy site. That's unusual. And it, I, I mean, I just did that but because that's the site that, you know, it's taking off like a rocket. Bam, boom, to the moon and pass. To the moon and beyond. I'm not picky in the brain. I did that already. But anyway, you know, so they better mind their manners. They better mind their ink. They better mind their distribution. They better mind it and join. That's funny comedy showcase because we have no animosity. We're just saying, don't make us smudge your ink. Because guess what? Our site is not paper, so you can't smudge that. You know, we'll still be there. And we're going to be pulling in viewers and pulling in viewers. And we, you know, we can share, but you can't take it. Because if you take it, I'm going to tell you about Bed-Stuy. That's where I'm from. See, every time we get up in these videos, I got to let somebody know I'm from Bed-Stuy. But anyway, y'all, huh, I'm Christian too, so I'm going to try to be nice about it. And that's funny. I'm saved, so 
Let me be nice. Peace out, y'all. That's funny. Comedy Showcase. Bam. Check us out. No doubt.